Idonia is an old school inspired open world RPG developed by Kazakov Oleg. It's hard to believe this game was made by a one man team as you travel across various lands, build your character through an impressive skill system and battle countless different types of enemies. Fans of older games will feel right at home here as the gameplay mechanics and art style are reminiscent of classics such as Morrowind, World of Warcraft and RuneScape. You begin your journey in a small town where you live a simple life with your uncle. Wanting to know more about your parents, you go off exploring and while doing so uncover some mysterious runes that allude to the end of the world. To prevent this from happening, you team up with several other characters and travel to many distant areas across the map, all the while learning about your parents and where you come from. Got it. While certainly not the highlight of this game due to the not so great voice acting and awkward animations, the main story really doesn't take up that many hours to complete, however level requirements for each mission will keep you playing the main story missions right throughout most of your gameplay. In the meantime, between these missions as you level up your character, there is much to do to fill your time such as an abundance of side quests, boss battles, a world filled with caves, castles and ruins to explore, a house to build and a character to develop. Cadonia features a large free roaming open world for you to explore, with several different level specific locations to guide you on where to go for your first few hours of gameplay, from large green fields to poisonous swamps and haunted forests. While the majority of the map is generally empty space, there is still many interesting things to find as you explore, like wizard towers, camps, cities and caves. Many of these places feature platform elements where you'll need to jump and climb your way to reach treasure or find enemies, making it both interesting and rewarding to explore. Fast travel locations can be found throughout the map, making it easy for you to travel as you venture further out and several different mounts can be acquired to make exploration faster and more enjoyable. Cadonia offers a lot of customization and choice throughout many of its gameplay mechanics. One such way it offers this is in many of the side quests you can find scattered on the map. Most of these will offer several choices on how you might complete the quest, whether it be through combat, using your charisma skill, stealing items or bribery. The quest tracking system could benefit from some improvements as essential information is left out in the quest log, so if you skip through dialogue or return to complete a quest after some time, you may find yourself at a loss for what to do. Probably the most impressive aspect to Godonia is how you can grow and shape your character, allowing for some very creative playstyles. At the beginning of your game you'll need to allocate points between charisma, strength, intellect and agility and this will determine some perks you get and what skills you can grow. Where in other games you can still access all skills, in Godonia you're limited by how you've allocated your points. For my first character I allocated my points mostly to strength and because of this I couldn't use magic at all in my gameplay. You don't get many points to allocate to shape your character so you'll need to decide what kind of build you want from the very beginning and many cool perks and skills will need to be sacrificed. While at first I found this to be a bit frustrating as I felt quite limited in my character, I came to discover that it offers huge replayability as I returned shortly after finishing my first playthrough to see what I could build with another character. There are a total of 19 skills for you to develop as you play, including archery, blood magic and defense, along with crafting skills like cooking and alchemy. These offer some truly awesome abilities like turning into a blood demon or werewolf, a huge health bonus to your character, or even the ability to fly. You won't be able to access all of these as it depends on what points you allocated in the beginning of the game, but like I said before, this offers some great replayability. The combat strongly reminded me of RuneScape with fairly simple gameplay mechanics and a large variety of abilities to use. It doesn't quite have that satisfying feel to it that many games have, as I played with a melee character build and hitting enemies with a sword had the same feeling as swinging aimlessly through the air. 
A crazy amount of different enemies keeps combat interesting as you learn their attacks and the best way to avoid them. And mini boss fights are also scattered around the map which can provide some pretty good rewards for defeating them. There is a home building aspect where you can purchase a plot of land and build your very own house. You can customise the shape, walls and floors and fill it with furniture giving you a lot of creative design and you can also place crafting stations, farming plots and decorations around your house. Eudonia is inspired by classic old school RPGs and it genuinely feels like that's what you're playing. The menus, character animations and soundtracks all complement this older style that the developer was aiming for, giving it a nostalgic feel even though it's only a couple of years old. While the art style is quite simple and not everyone will appreciate it, there are some really beautiful scenes in this game. I found the soundtracks to be incredibly beautiful and atmospheric as well and just really fit the vibe of the game, especially when you're riding your horse across a large open field and watching the sunset in the distance. Moving on to cutscenes, which to put it bluntly, have some of the worst voice acting you'll ever hear, and the animations aren't that much better. I was a little sick, you know. It makes it extremely hard to pay attention to the main story, as some of these cutscenes can be quite long, and because of this, I really didn't pay that much attention to what was happening, only picking up bits and pieces before I chose to skip them. These cutscenes are limited to the main story thankfully, so you won't have to endure them often, although it does really kill the whole main story of the game. Being such a huge game and made by a single developer, the game is a bit janky and awkward at times. Things like people not reacting to enemies and limited character dialogue with no personality ruins any sense of immersion, at least for me. There are some odd glitches like items disappearing and the occasional lag, but honestly not anything near as bad as you might expect. Overall, as a single person project, I think it's incredibly impressive what this man has created. Yes, the game is a little rough around the edges and ideally needs some fine tuning, but for a game inspired by old school RPGs, some of the performance issues really just add to the old game vibes that the developer was aiming for. Gadonia feels like a rough, unfinished game when you first try it, but the more you delve into the world and experience everything, the more you realise how much effort and passion has actually gone into this. It's really easy to lose hours in this game going from quest to quest, discovering new areas, all the while building up your character and unlocking some pretty cool skills. I don't think this game is for everyone, especially if you're after an RPG with more depth and immersion, but if you don't mind the old school feel, the sometimes awkward gameplay and graphics, and you enjoy a quest heavy game that you can sink a lot of hours into, then this game is for you. Thank you so much for watching, please leave a like or comment if this review has helped you and I will see you in the next video. Bye!